that the very first time I encountered the works of Harun Yahya, it was by a strange coincidence, a very strange thing had happened. And I thought, this is a strange looking book. And I opened it and I began to read and I thought, oh my gosh, this is finally what we're getting, high class quality material for Dawa. Something I've been dreaming about ever since I made Shahada. When I entered Islam, we didn't have such a thing. And then, when I saw this book, I said, I have got to take this book with me to Columbus, Ohio, because I'm going for a speech today and I'll take this book Oh, and it's on my subject, which is about evolution versus creation. Oh, this is fantastic. Then I packed my bags, I got in the plane, I flew. Then when I landed, I remembered, oh, I forgot the book. I wanted that book because I didn't finish reading it. And there were so many references in it. It would have been just perfect. And I was still mumbling in my head, thinking, why you forgot it? What's the matter with you? And I met a young gentleman who became a very lifelong friend of mine. But, and that day I met him. And we got into his car. He said, do you like to put your suitcase in the back of my car? I said, yeah. He opened the back of his car. I said, what's this box? Looks like books. He said, yes, these are very good books. We just got these books to give to the people. Do you mind? I said, I don't know. What is it? He said, open. What do you think? The same books that I have. <laughs> Well, I had this, so, uh, can you believe it? I couldn't believe it. I almost cried. And I grabbed him. I was hugging him. He said, what is it? What is it? I said, this is the book. I was telling you I forgot a book. This is the book. Oh, my God. And we had so many of them, we could give them out to the attendees. We had two atheists at that conference. When we started, two atheists, both of them accepted Islam at the end of the conference.